Hi, Odoers, and welcome back. In today's video, we'll see how to manage customer invoices together in Odoo. Invoices issued to customers are recorded as journal entries in the sales journal. The customer invoice has three journal items, income and tax accounts on the credit side and the receivable account on the debit side. Let's check out how it works on our Bloom database. Here we are on our Odoo database. Let's first jump into the accounting app and we are going to go into the customer invoices. This is our sales journal and we'll go into configuration and take a look. We have a few options here, including our default income account. So that can be set here on the sales journal itself. Let's go back to our dashboard and now we are going to create a new customer invoice. So on here, we will create an invoice for our friends at Acres Lawn Care. And to keep it nice and organized, we are going to add some sections. We'll have one for plants. And in that, they are going to be getting our Japanese maple tree. They said they needed five of those. And also, they want to get our rose bush. And they'll be taking seven of those. Additionally, we want to have some supplies on there. So we will add our supplies section and add a line. Of course, they can't get out of here without purchasing some of our fantastic garden gnomes, and they need at least six of those. And you can see in our account column here, we have the default income account, and this is coming from that sales journal, but it can also be set on the line here, the product itself, or on the product category. Hi, Dallas. What if we have different account sets on all those places? How does Odoo know which one to choose? Great question, Kiara. So if we think about the purpose of when you would want to use an account on the product category versus on an individual account, it makes sense to prioritize the most specific over the more general. For example, we always have the ability to select the correct account on an individual invoice line but if we don't do that, Odoo will take the account that is set as the income account on the product. If that field is empty, then Odoo will instead use the income account on the product category. And if that one is empty, it will go to the account set on the sales journal, which is what happened here. So let's now take a look at our journal items tab. And you can see our sections are keeping this tab nice and organized as well. We have three lines here, one for each of our products that are all going to that sales account that is coming from the sales journal. And then we have one line for each, the tax account and for the receivable account. And those are coming from the product record and the customer record respectively. Let's now go back to our invoice lines. We are going to confirm, but before we do, notice that we don't have an invoice date set. We can of course set that manually or we can just confirm and it will use today's date. Now we're going to send and print our invoice. And you'll see we have our beautiful invoice right here in the chatter, ready to go. Finally, let's take a look at the list view of our invoices. So here we can see we have everything from the invoice number, to customer, invoice date, due date, Two things like activities that you can customize on each invoice. We have our amounts with tax excluded and included, the total in currency in case if it's in a different currency, and we have our payment status, whether it's fully paid and reconciled, just in payment, or not yet paid at all. Finally, our status, whether it is posted or still in a draft state. Well, that's all for this video on customer invoices. Stay tuned for our next video so you can fully master Odoo accounting. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.